What is up witches and wizards, muggles and nomads, I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk about something that I sort of brought forward in the last video. Now I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty viscerally salty <laughs> about that uh, in regards to the price points for the edible dark marks. I do understand you get gold from the login calendar. I do understand that you get gold for completing tasks and quests and all of that stuff in the events that we get, but it just really began to compound a little bit more when I looked into the new skill trees and broke it down by numbers. Um, the number's pretty staggering when you really think about it and you do some simple math to just kind of break down the length of time that this is going to take. If there is not a current, uh, or rather a, a big, big adjustment made to the current way we receive our rewards. Now I know that for placing, uh, images and the registries for the adversaries does reward you with a decent number of Defense Against the Dark Arts books. However, it's more of a drop in the bucket in the grand scheme of things when you look at just simply how many you have to have in order to upgrade each of your skill trees. So without further ado, I do want to dive right into that and begin that discussion with you guys. So like I said, again, I'm not trying to be salty or angry forever. I don't like being that guy, but this is definitely going to open some eyes and probably shock you just a little bit if you haven't been able to take the time to do the math yourself and see exactly how much it's going to take for us to unlock all of the new skills and the skill trees for uh, the adversarial combat. So when we look at this, there are a few things that surprise me and a few things that don't surprise me. Uh, one thing that really did surprise me was just the sheer amount of books that we will have to have in order to max this out, especially when we have to stretch it across three skill trees that are absolutely identical in every single way imaginable. Like there isn't any sort of nuance or uniqueness about any of them. They literally are all the exact same. There isn't a special skill that makes professors stronger against something or magizus or ores or anything. They are just three perfectly identical skill trees. That is the first thing that surprised me. Um, and, and looking at that and the books and all of that. So I just was very shocking. <laughs> Next, the thing that I noticed was just the sheer amount of Defense Against the Dark Arts books that we have to have. So for one skill tree, you have to have 1150 Defense Against the Dark Arts books. 14 restricted section books, which I thought was surprisingly few, 570 red spell books, and then 2,525 scrolls. So as you can see here, those are gonna be the requirements for maxing out one skill tree. One skill tree, okay? <laughs> I just wanna reiterate. Now, in order to figure out how much we're gonna need for the next skill trees, it's pretty simple because again they're identical in every single way as far as the stat boost as far as the requirements go literally no difference so we take the numbers that we just had multiply that by three and there is your answer so in order to fill out three skill trees you are going to have to have 3450 defense against the dark arts books 42 restricted section books which i have right now like again shockingly few restricted section books 1,710 red spell books. So hop on that night bus and get to grinding. <laughs> and of course, 7,575 scrolls, which I don't think is too big of an issue, especially because you get scrolls for literally everything. And I seem to have a, you know, pretty much a limitless supply of those at this point. And I don't even really grind that much. So I know that the scrolls, the restricted section books and maybe even the spell books aren't as big of a deal for some people. I know I'm nowhere near 570 spell books. I actually just blew all of those once I saw the requirements for these skill trees and put them into my Magizu so I can actually play as Magizu in fortresses just for fun. Uh, but that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, especially when you look at the current breakdowns each month that we receive. So each month currently, again, and I know I didn't calculate placements for adversaries and the rewards that you receive from that, okay? So forgive me for that. I didn't have that information. Uh, at, at, as of the filming of this video, it's actually, you know, it's something that I hadn't contributed into this information. But 
I do want to go ahead and give you the current drops outside of adversaries and placing those things in the registry. So per month, in one month, we get about 23 Defense Against the Dark Arts books. And that can come from brilliant events, community days, these adversarial events that are going to be coming around. And obviously those are going to help us place things, which again will lead to more books. That's, that's nice. Currently we get about 23 Defense Against the Dark Arts books a month. And we get about 30 Restricted Section books a month. Okay? So because our requirements are so great, at the current pace of play, just by doing the events and getting the rewards from the events alone, it would take 150 months to complete all three skill trees to gather enough defense against the dark arts books. It would take 150 months, guys, <laughs> to get enough for all three. Uh, it would only take three or two months to like finish completely the requirements and then have some left over for restricted section books. And of course, red spell books are pretty much in your control. You can grind as much or as little as you want on the night bus. We do get some of those from rewards for crust steps. It's not that many. It's maybe between 15 and 20. Uh, if my math is correct, if not, somebody feel free to correct me down below. And then scrolls again are just from playing the game. So you're going to have those kind of coming in a whole bunch. Um, and I'm just like, I'm kind of baffled at the design aspect of this because it doesn't seem like it's very player friendly, right? Like these are some pretty hefty requirements for a game that is meant to be casual. So there, again, in comparison with the, the video, the, and you can look at that in the card above if you want, the broken EDM prices and all that stuff. Like, that's nuts to me. It, it, that's crazy. And we're not getting enough gold in order to buy those, so they need to lower the price or give us more gold. And it's the same thing with these resources. There is a resource scarcity right now. And I know that they just released the feature. And I know that they just wanted to give us something to chase after. And I do like it a lot. <coughs> And I do like it a lot. I love the adversaries. I think that they're fun. I think that it's a cool encounter. But guys, 3,500 books for some skills that aren't even that, like that great? It just doesn't seem right to me. Does it seem right to you? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm done with. <laughs> I'm done talking about this. It's just wild. I promise that I'm not. I'm not even really angry or anything. I'm just kind of confused as to why this is the way that they built it out. So. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season, that you are safe and you are able to be with your loved ones, whether that is in person or virtually, depending on your situation. Um, I am forever thankful for everything that you guys have done for this channel and the community at large. You're just fantastic and I could not be uh, just more grateful for that. So I want you to know that this holiday season, I am thinking of you and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful time. And I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, peace.